In this video, we're going to be talking about the rhombus. And the rhombus is a parallelogram. It is a type of parallelogram that has a few special properties. And what I'm going to start off by doing is just listing our properties of parallelograms that we know are going to apply to the rhombus because we know that a rhombus is a type of parallelogram. So because it's a type of parallelogram, the properties that we had investigated that we can refer to in our previous videos are also going to apply to the rhombus. So those properties were firstly that our opposite sides were parallel. So in parallelograms, opposite sides are parallel. And what I'm going to do is I'm also just going to put in all of this information in our actual rhombus that we have right here. So we know that our opposite sides are parallel, which means this side is parallel to this side. And that means that this side is going to be parallel to this side. Then another property of parallelograms was that opposite angles were equal. So that means that this angle is going to be equal to this angle. And that means that this angle is going to be equal to this angle. Then we had that opposite sides were equal in length. And then the last property that we had discussed specific to parallelograms was that the diagonals are going to bisect each other. And that means that if we put in our two diagonals, this is going to be our first diagonal, and this is going to be our second diagonal. For the diagonals to bisect each other means that our orange diagonal is going to split our green diagonal into two equal sized parts and that means that the length of this side is going to be equal to the length of this side. So each of these two parts of the green diagonal are equal in length. And the same goes for our orange diagonal. Our green diagonal splits our orange diagonal into two equal parts which means that this length is equal to this length. They are two equal sized parts. So this is just the properties of parallelograms that is going to apply to every type of parallelogram. And in addition to this, the rhombus is going to have a few special properties that are going to differentiate the rhombus from other types of parallelograms. So all of these are going to be true to the rhombus, but in addition, the rhombus is also going to have all of the sides of the rhombus are actually equal in length. So all sides of the rhombus are equal in length. And what that means is this side is equal in length to this side, which is equal in length to this side, and is equal in length to this side. So all four of our sides are going to have the same length. Then another special thing about the rhombus in particular is that the diagonals are going to bisect at 90 degree angles. And that means that each of these diagonals is going to have a 90 degree angle at this intersection. We are going to have four 90 degree angles. So the diagonals bisect at 90 degrees. And the last special property that's specific to the rhombus is going to be that the diagonals are going to bisect the angles. So what that means is that each of these interior angles are going to be split into two equal sized sub angles by the diagonals. So we can see that our diagonals are going to bisect each of our angles. So this angle, which without the diagonal was just this large blue angle, is going to be split into two equal sized parts by this green diagonal. And the same goes for this angle and this one and this one. So the diagonals, bisect the interior angles. And I'm going to put a star around the properties that are going to be specific to the rhombus. And that was that all sides are equal in length, the diagonals bisect at 90 degrees, and the diagonals are going to bisect the interior angles. These are the three properties that are new to us. All of these other properties from number one to number four are going to apply to all parallelograms. But these three properties with stars next to them are how we're going to differentiate our rhombus from other types of parallelograms. We know from our last video that we have rectangles, which are also a 
type of parallelogram. And we need to have some properties that are specific to the rhombus that will allow us to differentiate the rhombus from other types of parallelogram. So these are the three properties that you are going to look for when you are trying to differentiate a rhombus from the other types of parallelograms. So that is going to summarize our properties of the rhombus. And in the next video, I'm going to prove that the diagonals in a rhombus are going to bisect at 90 degrees and that the diagonals are going to bisect the interior angles.